These are ordinary scenes from daily life. A child at breakfast. A family gathering. A fishmonger at work. Ordinary, yes, but unlikely to feature on Singapore's promotional marketing or glossy airline ads. That's where photographer Teke Chin comes in. The curator of this exhibition, he tells me he wanted to show another side of Singapore. He's brought together the work of 34 photographers, all offering a different perspective on day-to-day -day life. When we, we give the mic to independent photographers, then uh, we were hoping that we will be able to, to, to hear something from the heart and, and what people really care about. We felt that Singapore has had come of age and that it's, it's time is right for, for more voices to be surfaced uh, instead of just hearing from, from one source. So the photographers were all encouraged to, to go out and do something that, that is close to their heart. Officially, Singapore's a modern cosmopolitan society of 5.6 million people. Predominantly Chinese, but also made up of Malay, South Asian and other ethnicities. It's very technologically advanced and a transport hub. But the country is much more complex, more layered than it first appears. Photographer Bernice Wong is exhibiting a series on an Indian family in Singapore, led by matriarch Mel. Mel and her family, they are one example of people who are marginalised. They live in a small room rental flat and there are many people living inside. And this is the side of Singapore that we seldom think about or you know, can imagine. Singapore is so often associated with white-collar jobs, but it has a rural, labour-intensive past. I work with a photographer called Sam Chin on a series called Turfu. Uh, Turfu is actually an industrial estate, an old industrial estate in Singapore. In Singapore sense, it would be considered a very chaotic place, you know, where you have uh, cars being scraped at one side of the industrial estate and just two doors down you see like uh, buns being prepared uh, in mass like for, for distribution to coffee shops all over the islands. The photos reveal a slice of agricultural life, of immigrants, of struggle. Some of the photographs are intensely personal, like this triptych by Darren So. Dedicated to his son, they're three of his favourite childhood places in Singapore. At risk of demolition, at least here, they're forever preserved on film. Singapore Unseen has 34 perspectives. But they come together in this exhibition to reveal the unknown face of Singapore. The place where image meets reality. Miranda Atti, TRT World, Istanbul.